Hey, hey, folks, here we are. We might be drunk. We're back. I ain't dumb babies. Oh, yeah. well, let's say it again. So we got Sam J here. We're talking thieves. Well, you hate it. What? My pet peeve is like dumb, dumb kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So just kids. No. I, I think there's kids who like, you look at them, and even if they're doing kid shit, kids are going to do kid shit. Yeah. But they got like life in their eyes. And mm. you can tell the wheels are turning and they're thinking and they're, and then there's these dead in the eyes, just like dummies. Yes. And I hate when people bring me those type of kids and want me to engage with them because I'm like, <laughs> I don't, there's nothing I could do with this. Like yeah. the kid is dead in the eyes. There's nothing going on. <laughs> You're carrying that entire interaction. Yeah. And I already don't really want to interact with a kid. No. Right. But like at least let them be. Will you never have kids you don't think? I don't think so. No. Mm. But you're in a you're in a serious thing. Mm -hmm. And you have been for a while. Yeah. But but kids is it's it's come up or no? I mean yeah but we're like lesbians so you have yeah, to but do. But there's ways around it. I know but that's what I'm saying you have to make so many decisions and I just don't think we're gonna make them. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good point. You can't. You, it's not like an oops. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's like it's yeah. mad decisions and choices and I just don't think we're ever gonna get there. If you uh -huh. did adopt, would you go different race? Like maybe I wouldn't mind. That wouldn't bother me. All right. Mm -mm. I wouldn't bother me. I used to just joke about how I was gonna adopt a Chinese baby. Um, because that's how lesbians show that they got money, uh, <laughs> and people people got mad at me. <laughs> really, that's funny. People get mad over everything, Mark. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, but tell who's me about people? It. Is that, do audiences get mad? No, like I think people like I, when I say people get mad, it's like it's always usually after the joke is out somewhere, and then right. they're like, "How dare somebody say that on a Saturday night and make people have a good time?" I know, <laughs> it's like, all right, bro, show. you're watching this Tuesday. Yeah. On a, like the, you're coming in at the wrong time. Yeah, it's literally about, like someone opening the door during sex and being like, "Well, I wouldn't fuck you," and like, "I'm not asking you to." <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What, what's the problem? Yeah. yeah. But no, yeah, I would. I would adopt another race. I always think maybe later in my life I might like adopt like a teenager or something. But Ooh. then, just because you know, I was like a teen with no parents and shit like that. But and then I think like I don't know, teenagers are just a lie, and I don't want to have to stab a fucking. 14 year old because they acting crazy in my house <laughs> yeah. yeah you want to establish the dominance at a younger age because mm -hmm. they That's act tough. up it's like you really got to stab them or something exactly yeah the teen comes in hot <laughs> you know? that's right you're missing this part of their life and right. you're going right to this mm -hmm. that's that's mm -hmm. tough yeah but the teens no one wants them once a adopted kid gets too old it's like a that's dog. why i would thought about doing it because right. the ones who get like left the most and you only have to put a few years in you know oh, you're 18 now i did my two years yeah good luck out in the real world fatty mm -hmm. Yeah, why, they, why are they fat? Oh, wow. He calls everyone fat. Oh, okay. That's like, his, <laughs> like, dang. That's like his old buddy, old pal. That's yeah. His... All right. Okay. Plus, the fat ones don't get adopted either. So, <laughs> you want to help them out, too. Is it like the pound? Do you walk oh, yeah. in and kind of point Is at the Is it one? like the pound? I don't know. I remember I was talking to a girl once who adopted a dog, and, and she goes, I said, Did you adopt one? She goes, None, none, none had that it factor. Ah, wow. <laughs> that's you. a pretty horrible thing to say. <laughs> oh, I don't think you're going in with the right attitude. Well, I knew a girl, she would adopt a dog and hang out with it for a week and go, it doesn't feel right. And she would bring it back. And I was like, you're killing this dog. People did that oh, during that's COVID. Messed that's messed up. It's like, that if you adopt it, you got to stick with it. But that's a, that was a big COVID thing. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people were like, I want a, I want a pet. And then they got back to their regular life and were like, never mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's totally. pretty fucked up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Kevin Iso did that. Really? Uh, yeah, he was bringing the dog to shows and stuff for a little while. And then I just, I was like, what happened to the dog? He was like, I gave it back, dog. I was like, bro, what? Yeah. <laughs> now, here's the question Can you do that with a kid? <laughs> I think you can, actually. It's really? Up, but Pay yeah, I'm pretty sure that you can. Damn, that'll fuck a kid's head up. Yeah. Would you break up? Do you say it's not you, it's me? <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think can you bring it. I don't think you can bring a kid back. I think you. I think you can. If you can give different up different orphanage. That's what I'm saying. If you can give up your real kid for adoption, I'm pretty sure you can give an adopted kid back. <laughs> right? I guess there should so. be. A, there should be a trial. Or period. your biological kid, I should say. You take right. a car for a test drive. Can I get two days with the kid? Uh now you're talking. Can I talking. see if we vibe? That's a good question. I don't know. I like that. You're thinking about having a kid. Yeah, give it a couple years. You're married now, right? Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Crazy. I never thought anyone would want you like that, Mark. Uh, that's why I did it. She was the first person to say, I would. And I was like, Are you right. married? It'll never happen again. I'm engaged. I'm engaged. Oh, Whoa! Congrats. Who, congrats. In the lesbian relationship, who proposes to who? I mean, I think it's different for every every mm. every couple, but I happen to be the man in my relationship, unfortunately. So <laughs> the, the shit falls on me, but I, I can't tough. speak for everybody. It's different for every situation, <laughs> you know? 
You do the one knee, the Kaepernick? I did the one knee. I did the whole thing. Nice. Yeah, I know what type of lady I'm marrying. <laughs> she wants the whole show. I did it too. It feels weird. I was nervous. It's scary. Even though I knew she'd probably say yes, I was still oh, yeah, freaking out. I was pretty confident, but still, maybe not. Exactly. What do you do at dinner or where do you do it? I, um... I did it at my birthday party, which it was wow. like a, my birthday was kind of like to hide the fact that it was really an engagement situation. Ah, uh, wow. That's nice. How long have you been together? Uh, I've been dating my fiance off and on for 15 years. We met Holy in college. Holy hell. Damn. So the yeah. sex is over. We're not doing it a lot, but <laughs> when when we do it, it's bomb as fuck. All right. That's what I'll say. Like, we don't fuck a lot, but it's really nice when we do fuck because it's like, Oh yeah, your pussy is fire as fuck. It's like <laughs> you forget, and then you're like, "Oh shit, no, nah, this shit is fire." You know what I mean? Hell yeah. It's kind of it, it weirdly brings you back to each other. And yes. You're like, yeah. Oh hell yeah. Right. This is this is why I'm in this into this as much as I'm into you. Like as a person, you got fire pussy, and I forgot about it. <laughs> Was that the proposal? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know those wallets that light on fire? Get a ring that just blows up. Yeah. Fire pussy. Yeah. Damn Good album fire. title. A fire pussy, love a fire pussy. But yeah, it's <laughs> it's great when you when you uh, have that sex, that old sex again. And yeah. It comes back and you're like, oh yeah, this is what we were doing 15 years ago. And I think now we're like we're at a place. I think before it was like you gotta grow up, you know. So at some point it was just like this contentious place where she's like, why aren't you fucking me? And I'm like, stop making this my job. You know what yes. I mean? And like it just becomes like this weird yeah. back and forth. But now yeah. we're both at this place where we're like, we just want to be fucking more. So yeah. we're both just like doing things and making the effort to make sure that happens. Right. And that's been working out like pretty fire. Like we went to the Poconos Ooh. Uh, like six months ago to like fuck like like poor people. Yeah. And that shit was fire. <laughs> There's somebody. We got a hotel with a circle bed and the nasty the ceiling. Ooh. And it had a, uh, the champagne glass jacuzzi. Oh, top. I like wow. that. Yeah. And everything was leather. Like all the couches, everything was leather. Oh, good. good. And we had a pool inside the room. And Damn. Went, a like, pool? Yeah, like a little door you open. It had a, like a little heart shape little oh, jacuzzi yeah. type you know what I'm talking about oh sure and then we just we just we just we just fuck like nasty people well it's something about a hotel cause at your house you get sick of fucking there cause yeah, it's yeah. the same routine over and over in a hotel you're standing up you're scissoring you gotta take the pussy to other spots exactly I've been that like yeah. That gets you really like when I take my girl like out the country, then I'm like, oh, I want to see what this pussy do in Paris. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you got you got you got to travel the pussy around. So you know? true. It's so nice to just throw a condom wrapper on the floor and be like, someone else will deal with it. I don't that, use yeah. condoms. My dick's plastic. Yeah, well, I'm, talking, I'm talking about us. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's nice to make a mess of a room and not. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm jizzing on drapes. Yeah. Oh, it's hell crazy. yeah, that's yeah. fire. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could jizz. You can't squirt? I can't squirt, bro. Oh, Damn. give me an hour. <laughs> <laughs> an hour? <laughs> is great. That would make me depressed. If you were the first person to make me squirt, <laughs> I would have to like reassess my entire existence. Yeah, like, that would fuck f- up your, your psychology. <laughs> right right like, when Mark does, he goes, comedy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, boy. This Murder. Is... <laughs> Like, fuck. Did it. Yeah, squirting. I feel like nobody mentioned squirting till 1999, and now it's all over. It's like eating ass. It just came in one day. Yeah, and it's like a big debate. It's like now, like I see on the internet a lot, it's like men be like mad, like all of it ain't squirts. It's right, pee. And then right. now there's this argument, is it pee or is it squirt? Yeah. And I think I think the amount of women who are saying they could squirt, I think some of them pissing. I think Definitely. so, Because it feels like it's like a real skill you got to hone. Oh, yeah. You, because, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, as a woman, the pressure point feels the same. You know what I'm saying? It feels, when you feel that, even, like, if there's, like, a big digging unit, it's like, and you're like, ooh, a minute, like, you feel the dig, you're like, I got to pee. Even right. if you don't, that's what the uh-huh. pressure kind of makes you feel a little pee-pee-ish. Interesting. Interesting. I, didn't I know guess that. it's pressing against your spleen. I, Give me the same feeling when your spleen's full. Baby, I don't know. You never done that, but I believe you. It sounds like you got the that real facts. So yeah. was... Are you a gold star gay? No. Oh, no, okay. No, no, no. So you dabbled with the the male. Mm-hmm. All right. The male. Yeah. You lost your virginity. We did that podcast mm-hmm. together. Where we mm-hmm. talked about it. you lost your virginity to a. To I was a basketball game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Point guard. Playoff game. Oh wow. No, I was watching basketball while while he Big was inside Celtics of me. Big Celtics fan. Wow. <laughs> I've you, seen you rolling with your Jalen Brown jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I am your a guy. Big Celtics fan. I like Jalen Brown a lot. Yeah. Damn. That's so I, well. No. When you were doing it, were you like, "This isn't for me"? No, I don't think I had to. Like, I was young and I didn't really know what was for me. You know, I just knew like I didn't hate boys. It wasn't and when it was happening. I wasn't like, "Ew, oh my god, I feel so gross afterwards." I was just like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is fine." 
And then I had sex with, I didn't understand what people loved about sex. Mm. I was just like, it's fine. Right, you know what I mean? Like, right. that's where I was with it. Like, my homegirls were like, and it feels so good. When you feel it in your stomach, and in my mind, I'm like, I don't like that part. I don't oh, like feeling it in my stomach. Or like, ugh, that's not cool to me, but like, it's fine. Yeah. But so I didn't have that like association with it. And then when I had sex with a woman, and I was like, oh, yes, yes no, it's fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, I just, you know, it was a little bit clueless. Sure. Well, we had the same sexual history. I started <laughs> with a guy and then... <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is weird to start that way. It is weird to, like, for the first... Your first sexual experience is just not what you like. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But you don't know what you like either, so I didn't know that I didn't like it as much as I just was like, I'm not feeling how everybody else is feeling. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I didn't. I, I, I mean, I came and stuff. And, oh, but, wow. But I was just like, I don't know. It's it's fine. Yeah. I don't need this to happen. But it's a different come when you're with a woman. Oh, for sure. For yeah. sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. But now you say you're the guy, and are you doing all the... The, the pegging or whatever you call it, the strap on it. I don't think it's called pegging when it's a woman. Oh, it? well, what do you call it? We know what kind of porn Mark is watching. <laughs> you guys had me pegged all wrong. But what do you call it with a lady? It's just a strap, strap on. Oh, yeah. strap on. Yeah. It's called sex. Sex. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, but you're behind and you're doing the pumping. They don't got to be behind. So I, I like to look my girl in the eyes, baby. Oh, What's up? Not me. I'm a lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I don't get strapped if that's what you're asking. Uh -huh. no. You don't like it? Mm, I mean, I'm I'm good. All right. I'm good. I like the power dynamic I got going. Yeah. I don't need to add no no crazy shit to my, to my household. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They should make strap-ons that shoot a little load or they something. They got those. They do? Yeah, baby. Whoa. It's like Spider-Man. You just shoot like this at you the You, like, hit a button, and then they're like, poop, poop. It's a little stuff on you. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's just what a is bang. It? It's a little a flag. Some of them is whipped cream. Whoa. Some of them is like a, like a fluid. It's all very That's a stupid. tough one to break out of the it's dinner table. It's very Yeah. It's a lot of make-believe going yeah. on. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> Sam like has it. that button. It's just in his butthole. <laughs> Milk the prostate. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. like the like the they got vibrating straps, all types of shit. Whoa, man! Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a friend. I don't know. if I'm not gonna say him. We all know him, but he's a big peg guy. Really wow. loves getting pegged. And now I I can't see him. Diff I see him differently wow. now. Wow. Yeah, I, I'll tell you after. I wonder who it is. Oh, very close. He really loves pegged. That's it's, fire. It's Matt. But, uh, <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I can't painful. say I will. Like maybe when I'm old and shit, because like I feel like your sexual appetite changes over For the sure. years and whatever. So I don't ever say no ever never to anything because yeah. I ate pussy. You know what I mean? So like I know I'm open. You right. Know what I mean? Right. But as of right now, I couldn't really. I couldn't see that. No. Uh -huh. yeah, pegging is like oysters. You can't come out of the gate with oysters. You no. kind of right. have to develop a palate for it, you know? <laughs> yeah. You don't see a 16-year-old with eating oysters. Yes, yes. But Acquired if you're a little taste. older, yeah, you give it a shot. But then they say a woman's sexual prime is mid to late 30s. Like, that's when you're the horniest. Oh, like 40s or some shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 40s okay. too, yeah. Okay. Shit. It's a weird design because we're 18, 19, 20. Now, yeah, I'm still horny. I mean, I am too, but... I, I think too, much. like it might have something to do with biologically, like uh, your clock oh, running out, right. and like your body feeling like, hey, we need to reproduce, maybe. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I the shot right. clock's winding down. Yeah, you gotta yeah, fucking make a move. I know. I definitely like feel that now, where it's like my body is going because I've never had kids, and like my body is going into like hyperdrive. It's like, Whoa. and is your body saying, "I want kids"? It's you think? like you need to yeah. do this, and you need to get, you need to get to it. Like my Whoa. periods are a lot worse than they've ever been in my life because I feel like I'm producing way more estrogen and shit during that time mm -hmm. because my body's like, girl, we need to. We need to make something happen. Even women's bodies are passive aggressive. That's crazy. <laughs> we need to make something happen. Yeah. Damn. Like, my periods are crazy now. Like, when I, when I was young, and girls would complain, like, oh, this, that, I didn't feel shit. I'll have like a three day period. I'd be like, this, this really ain't that big of a deal. Yeah. And now it's like, I feel like nauseous. My titties swell up. My nipples be sore. Like, wow. Damn. It's like misery. It's like misery. And I know it's my body being like, bitch, have a baby. Yeah. Being <laughs> yeah. a woman's hard, man. Have a baby. Oh, yeah. Biology is the ultimate misogynist. Make a baby now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, right? No. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, my lady's got the IUD. Mm. So no period. 
shooting all over the place. That's good. All good. I'm happy for you. Shooting up the club, that's what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Orlando in there. <laughs> Pulse. Yeah, but then she has to do the waddle to the toilet, which is always awkward. You know. You know thinking, oh, the, for, the, for what? Well, if I shoot it, this is getting graphic, but if I shoot it in her, She's got all. It's gonna fall oh, out. It definitely falls out. It so, does. Yeah. The ID out. falls out. No, no, the no, jizz. The jizz oh, falls yeah, out. Yeah. It, was, it slides on down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, so there's the ID comes out. I was like, that would be terrible. No, that ain't, that ain't no. Fun. Never seen that shit. But you can feel that thing sometimes yeah. on your head. Paperclip. Yes. Oh, you hitting it. oh yeah. Yeah. Little That's pee cool. hole action. Yes. That stinks. And it's kind of sharp. It's sharp. Yeah. It's it's awkward. Yeah. Not a fan. I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> But. You know, we were just, you said this shooting thing, and I was just watching uh, Saved by the Bell, like just was on TV today. That Screech New or old? Uh, old one. Mm -hmm. But Screech would have been a school shooter today. Oh, so? The yeah. shit he went through. He was True. just in love with the girl. It never works out. Lisa. Lisa. Turtle. Yeah, that's the one I saw. Like Zach is kissing Lisa. Oh. And Screech always gets a little feelings hurt. I always. know, but that's always a that's <clears throat> also like a good lesson to these new kids that act like nothing's supposed to hurt their feelings. Like that nigga Screech was a dog, cause he used to just get his feelings hurt. Everyone was always kissing on his bitch, and he still hung out with them niggas. Yeah, yeah. he still was like, yo, like this ain't personal. Right. You know what I mean? I just happen to be a nerd now. <laughs> <laughs> <He's laughs> <still no choice. laughs> this is just the world. You yeah. know what he mean? also was like, this is as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, from right. Screech, Screech was cool, and then he also like he just allowed himself to grow in that. And then he became the principal, remember? Like, he took over Bayside. Oh, yeah, really? yeah right. Yeah. That's what nerds do. They tend to win in the end. Yeah. They struggle in high school. But... I didn't remember. I didn't I didn't stick with it that long. Mm -hmm. Oh, the college years. The college years. He was a principal? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Damn. he was like a... Well, high up there. Yeah. He worked at the school and shit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. You bully these kids all day, then before you know it, they're the CEO. I did watch college years, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's it was so bad. It's crazy today, how bad the today, writing was. It, it felt like they, you could whip that script. It was up great. In oh yeah. 10 but minutes. you have to think it was writing for our young brains. Right. Yeah. So right. it was good. Like I feel like kids need more of that shit. I'm like I don't know. I see what they watch on Disney Channel now, and I'm like, ugh. Oh yeah. Our well, shit well, was yeah. like our shit was like it had depth and yes, shit going on. It was on. a little more adult. Hell yeah! Remember Jesse was on the drugs, nigga. Yes. She was trying to study. I'm so excited. And she was all spun out. <laughs> <laughs> Just get out of No dose. Word. Yeah. She was fucked up. There's no time. There's and never Slater was time. like, Jesse, you did a fuck. <laughs> Slater wasn't having that shit. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, see, that is there was drug addiction. There was like <laughs> racial tension with Lisa yep, sometimes. Yep. It was heavy stuff. Hell yeah. Family matters too. Yeah, I used to love that. I used to, I mean, shit. I was just watching the old clips because I was thinking Larry Johnson. Remember, he was cross dressing. Mm -hmm. That was ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. Grandma, oh, yeah. Mom, Grandma, Mom, Family Matters. And Duncan. Duncan. Oh, yeah. And Duncan. Yeah, and giving one... us insight into the future of the WNBA. <laughs> one guy became a porn star. One Ooh. of the one of the girls on the show. Screech became a porn star. Yeah, that's right. Dustin Diamond became a porn star. And he's, I want to say he was a star. He has a huge dick. That's <laughs> he, all I know. Does he? Oh, really? Yeah, that was Screech the whole is thing. packing heat. That's the whole Good thing. For him. He he earned he needed it. something. That was the whole the whole deal. Is his dick big? Whoa! Damn. And he stabbed a guy. Dustin Diamond stabbed somebody. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> Pull it up. Screech was oh, kind so of So maybe badass. he kind of did turn into a yeah. school shooter. <laughs> <laughs> school stabber. Whoa! Told you. Jesus, he got meat. Damn. He's got a cut, too. He's got yeah, a six pack. <laughs> Screech has abs. Is that, is that him? His face looks a little different. Well, all right. Close up, more close ups here. I think that's Screech, bro. Damn. Not, Screech not a bad hog. Yeah, not really bad. became a school shooter. Not people he? like Screech got good, got good meat. That's what I heard. Yeah. God, he needed something. Good for him. That must have been a tough. You just you're watching that show and you're like, if any one of these characters dies first, I got my money on Screech. It also has to be yeah. tough to be Screech and have like this huge dick, and then every day for your like role, they just emasculate you. You're just like, mm. <laughs> you got, like a giant dong in your pants. <laughs> I'm sure he got laid though, like in the early '90s. I'm sure he was, you know, he was on TV. There were some sure. novelty fucks coming. Nah, he was oh, yeah. but he was getting butt for sure. But Zach Morris was definitely getting battered bitches, and oh, I'm sure yeah. he was like, my dick bigger than his though. <laughs> How about Slater? I mean, he was fucking everybody. Slater's the man. Still looks good. AC yeah. Slater. Looks better now than he did then. Man. Do you have any yeah. Slater stories? <laughs> never never <laughs> sat in a no, chair none? frontwards. <laughs> Just a goddamn the coolest guy on the planet. Tank tops to school, guns Cut out. Cut off a yeah. plaid shirt <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. A shag. Yeah. Yeah, the curly mullet. mullet's rough. Come on, man. That's a bad he look. He was a hunk. As people of color, we call it a shag. We don't, we don't the have The curly mullets. mullet? 
We don't have mullets. It's a shag. He's a white guy, though. No, he's, no, he's, he's Hispanic. Hispanic. Lopez. Hispanic, yeah. Look at that. Look at the dimples. Yeah, yeah, come, come on. on. What a hunk. Come on. A little cut off of football oh, drink yeah. showing a little stomach. Uh-huh. Get the fuck out of the here. The shag. He's still ripped. He's on ET. I would have I would have fucked Slater for sure. Damn. Really? Damn. Oh, would yes. you still fuck Slater? Not is there, now. Is there, any, is there any dude that you'd get a hall pass for? Oh, oh like who I like love? Yeah. Yeah. yeah what if Jalen Brown was like, I want to fuck no. you? No. Mm. I don't like those type. Like, like when I think about fucking guys, it's like it's not usually the guys like I like admire. It's usually like I have a very particular type. It's not that same. Uh huh. <laughs> I like I like dreamy white guys. Like you mm. gotta be classic California. Oh. Like blue like eyes. Like Zach Morris. Like a Hemsworth. Yes. Like dreamy. Yes. Okay. Give me like that. Give me that. Or you gotta be like. Hmm. Like, I like Paul Rudd. Oh, yeah, he's cute. Does the fact that he's kept it together do mm-hmm, something for you? Because mm-hmm. he's in his 50s, but he looks great. Mm-hmm. He looks amazing. Mm-hmm. That, I'm say. attracted mm-hmm. to older women who Morris have kept Chestnut, it together. Who oh, I saw yeah. at the Knicks game, and I had to let him know. I was like, you fine, for real. <laughs> what did he say? Like, I was like, sir, I am very gay, but you are, you are very <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. fine. That's the ultimate compliment. He's fine as fuck. Really? I don't, I don't normally fuck. like your gender, but for you, I'd make an exception. Oh, my God, That's he is fine, praise. fine. It's like, wow. it's like classically, just he's just very good looking. He's a handsome guy. He just oozes, yes. like, fuck me. Yeah. What did he say when he said that? He just laughed and smiled, and I got wet. Oh, <laughs> so you still got some some stuff in there for the guys. I mean, I think there's a level of hotness. It's just like who doesn't? Yeah, I hear you. You know what I mean? It's like you fine, man. Yeah, I'm not into dudes, but I can if I see a good looking guy, I'm like, whoa, that's a handsome. Yeah, son of like a bitch. you fine. And then you have to think I took dick, so my pussy remembers. It's like, <laughs> hey. it's like true. pussy flashback. Like, yeah, the pussy never forgets. <laughs> it's like an elephant. <laughs> 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 Damn. Yeah, you ever hooked up with a guy? I made out with a boy when I was a kid. Whoa! But that was it. I, it's in my special, that bit. You know the bit. That oh, that's it. right. Like, how yeah. old were you? I was in second grade. Oh, uh, that's pretty, just yeah. It was pretty out. innocent. Yeah, it was. Like a full make out, though? Like tongue? Yeah, we made out. You yeah. can remember this tongue. Yeah, yeah. Who is the boy gay now? I don't think so. I think he's just weird. Okay. I think he just kind of grew up to be a, kind of like a curious kid. Like I'm curious because I'm weird, you know. I mean, right. sure. I think. How uh, did you leave feeling? Do you remember the feeling, or you're just like? I remember telling my mom, "I think I'm gay," and my mom was like, "You're not." <laughs> she just was like, "I know you're, you're not." <laughs> she didn't even let you be. <laughs> but she's like, she was just like, "I know you're not." That's I what can I mean. Tell. Like I'm she your didn't mom. even allow you to be interesting. Uh, she's like, she, you she don't got been, it. She would have been fine if I was, but she's just like, "I know you're no, not." No, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It wasn't like, "Oh, uh, you can't be gay." It was more like, "You don't got it." Like, you don't got. <laughs> she said the same thing when he wanted to be a comedian. <laughs> She's like, you don't have it. I know you think you're interesting, but no, baby. No, no. <laughs> no but I definitely, uh, I would have taken it further with this kid. He was kind of the prude. <laughs> I was like, I remember I said to him, I was like, what do, what do gay people do? And this is how much we knew about homosexuality he said they rub dicks ah. and I couldn't get a hard dick at that point in my life so, so yeah. I was like I said let's do it and he goes no Whoa. I got shut down got rejected. I, would, I would have taken it to that place if he, you got rejected? Yeah, second I got rejected grade. second grade is not really boner time no, but I think I just was like, well, this is this in my head. Like this you were really wrong. liking this dude. I liked it. I, <laughs> he had big. Pow- I felt like he really liked this kid. He had, he had big pouty lips. He, oh. was, he was kind of feminine. I think that's why this I liked him. This might have deterred him from being gay. This rejection, yeah. you might be gay deep down inside. Yes, you when did. this early rejection fucked you up. I, I look back at it, and he had pouty lips. He was kind of chubby, so he had tits. And I was thinking in my head, I was like, this is the closest I get to a girl right now. And he's hairless. He was hairless. Yeah, you're yeah. not gay. You're just a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> hey folks we might be drunk is brought to you by fume cold turkey is delicious but cold turkey is a terrible way to break your bad habits fume is the fun all natural way that can help you kick that habit fume uses all natural delicious flavored air for you to breathe so you can replace that hand to mouth feel no electronics no vapor no harmful chemicals that makes sense, because it's really all about that oral fixé. You know, you just got to go back and forth, back and forth, something to do. Now, often we walk into a social situation, I tend to grab a beer or grab my tits. But yeah, you got to uh, you gotta do something, and fume is a way to do it without killing yourself. Those vapes, I don't trust them. I'm, not, I'm a vape apologist. 
So I think it looks good. It feels good. I took a few whiffs myself, and it, God, it tastes great. And the new version is fun to play with, fun to hold, and you pull it out. It's a conversation starter. It's a good time. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting. Give your fingers a lot to do and help you de-stress while breaking your habit. Put a clit on there. Let me play with that. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume to help break up your destructive habits by picking up the Journey Pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use code DRUNK to save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. That's T-R-Y-F-U-M dot com and use code DRUNK to save an additional 10% off your order today. Get some fume. Uh. It's Displate time, baby. Displate is the cool new metal poster you'll want in every room. Get your own artwork printed on a one-of-a-kind metal poster that takes only 20 seconds to install. They have officially licensed designs from Fight Club, Alien, South Park, and more. Your poster comes with a magnetic sticker, so just pop it on the wall and hang your poster. No power tools, no wall damage. Easily switch out a new poster in seconds. Click the link in our description to see some of our favorites and get ready to hang a piece of art. Save 22% if you buy one or two and get 33% off when you buy three or more. The discount will be automatically applied to your cart when you click the link. Use code DRUNK when you visit Displate.com to get the discount. That's Displate.com, code DRUNK, or click the link in the show notes. We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Babel, baby. If you're taking a summer trip abroad in 2023, you might want to be able to walk the walk and tuck the tuck. That's why you shouldn't go anywhere without preparing with Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app with addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons. So there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. I agree. I travel a lot. I was just down in Mexico, and it embarrassed me. It embarrassed me that I don't know Spanish. I took it in high school. Uh, there's the subway. Sorry. It's a real New York experience. I'm underground, comedically and literally. But, uh, yeah, get on Babbel, learn a language, expand your mind, queef it up. With lessons that take a little under 10 minutes a day, you start having a real-life conversation as little as three weeks. Hey, hey. Choose from 14 different languages, including French, Italian, Portuguese, and more. Babbel lessons are voiced by real native speakers, not computers. And can access podcasts, games, video stories, and even live classes to help you on your way. Plus, comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. That's pretty good. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babble.com slash drunk. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash drunk for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. You were just in the movie uh, You Ooh. People. You had a big role. I haven't seen it yet, honestly, but I heard I heard it. Well, then we're not going to talk about oh. it. Sam. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. You were great. Thank you. Yeah. No, I heard you were hilarious. In it was it. fun. Yeah. It was fun. A lot of good jokes in the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was fun. Can't deny that. I had a good time. Yeah. I mean, what a to... cast. Yeah. I mean, Eddie Murphy and Julie Lee Dreyfus, two mm-hmm. titans of comedy. Mm-hmm. What was that process like? Did you audition for it, or were they just like, we want you? The second one. Ooh, That's pretty damn that's cool. That's a nice place to be. Did Jonah write it for you? Who's the other writer? Kenya and Jonah wrote it together. The, no, they, wrote- they originally uh, wrote the role for a guy. And then um, Kenya just called me and was kind of like, yo, I got this part and I think you could be dope. And um, that was it. Damn. Some real shit in there. Yeah, that was it. Some real facts about racial relations in our country that I wasn't ready for. Okay, yeah. that's cool. The, that's dope. The Muslim yeah. Jew stuff, you mean? <laughs> that's the stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Let's dive in, you know? We, we're getting away from that in comedy. Let's go back to that, where we just... Talk shit? Yeah, go go Real towards shit. The, the shit. I mean, that's what, like, honestly, out of, out of all of it, that's what kind of attracted me to it at all, was like, they are trying to have an honest conversation yes. in this. 
as much as you can in a Hollywood vehicle with all the Hollywood tools kind of twisting it and turning it. They're tr they're they're trying to pull a real conversation and like a real dialogue out of this shit, and that was like super interesting to me. Mm. Hell yeah, yeah, it's about time, because we got Fuck all kinds yeah. of shit going on, and then we if we can't discuss it. I think it just gets weirder. Mm -hmm. The the le it's almost like a relationship, you know, when like it's oh, getting cool. weird in the relationship, but you don't discuss it. Mm. It just keeps getting Elephant more in the weird. Room shit. There yeah. you go. If we can't talk about it. It's just gonna fester and. It also creates extreme energy yes. on both sides of things. Exactly. Well, that's the problem with not having like all these news networks. It's all just for one group of people, mm -hmm. and then you just get angrier and angrier, and that's that's social media now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, everything's happening in a silo. Yeah. Right. Did you see? Oh, sorry. Mm -mm, did you see the John Stewart thing where he, you yeah. know, how he did the lab leak thing a yeah. year ago or whatever with Colbert. He showed last week. He showed the backlash he got, and he's like, "Look." Look how bad this is. Everybody says I'm anti-Asian, I'm racist, I'm, uh, I'm alt-right. Oh, I didn't see that. I thought you were talking about the gun interview. For what? Oh, that too. Well, he said it was made in a lab on Colbert, and Colbert was like, well, I don't know. Uh, he was nervous. And then it came out that it probably was from a lab, and he's like, well, look, I was kind of right, and everybody trashed me. But that's the problem. Like, I was just having that conversation of, like, everybody has to make a choice to tell the truth and not this choice to not make people <clears throat> upset. Yes. On both sides. People it's are like, yeah, Just yeah. fucking be honest. Because right. now, uh, truly, and from reputable news sources, not just like wild people screaming things into like a Twitter right. sphere. Right. Reputable news sources at this point are saying, yeah, we're pretty positive this came from a lab. Yes. And we're pretty positive this is the situation. Right. Which on some level, isn't that better? Uh, yeah. yeah. That, that it was but an accident. Controlled. But it's like also. I don't know. When Maybe that that's... happens, the 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 fucking liberal media and liberals in general who when Trump, who I hate most of his opinions, right? But when Trump was saying this is probably some lab shit, right? And everyone was like, "You fucking dumb, fucking dummy, you yeah. so fucking dumb." Exactly. You have a responsibility to say, "Hey, we were fucking wrong." I know. No one will we ever go back. We were fucking wrong. This was actually not that dumb. Because when you don't validate and step up and own your mistakes and own whatever the, what the truth is, you're compromised. What you do, yeah. What you do is then value validate the extreme right, who's like, don't listen to nothing, none right, of them say, eat right. a horse tranquilizer. Nobody knows what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you Sing fuel it, that fire yes. because you're not holding to honesty and truth on yes. this side. No, no matter good or good or bad for you. You have to hold that beacon, especially if you're like news yes. or any type of source of validation that we look to as a society because all that misinformation from both sides just creates distrust. And then you can't fault these people who are in middle of America sucking down horse tranquilizers or not believing shit yeah. because it keeps coming to be that this shit ain't true. Well, I think even the people, even saying it was horse medicine is like kind of misleading. Of you course. Know? But but the, but the uh, you're right. and. That's kind of where we're at now, right? I mean, it's. I think they got so so caught up with hating the messenger right. and Trump that even if there was a message that had truth to it, they became obsessed hating. with just. And you have to say, you know, though we disagree with this person, there might be some truth to what he's saying here, right. and, that, and that's actually how you keep your viewers long term. Hating the messenger with anybody, yeah. yeah. They hate the messenger with anybody. Yeah. Everybody's caught up in hating the messenger to the point where they're like, no one's telling the truth, and that's dangerous when it's news sources in the fucking government like yeah, these are the policy. two things like like society <clears throat> needs these things to be honest yes yeah. it's the metric so if you don't have that no one knows what the fuck to believe i know but the problem is also that they get their ratings by saying outrageous shit to keep mm. you on the channel when there's a 24-hour news cycle you keep people watching by saying outrageous shit and that outrageous shit is often like a real a, a news channel that would be reputable and actually trustworthy would be kind of boring probably ah but but, but now it's entertainment news. no that's of the course best it news. is like when i was in um uh europe i did this joke and i'm sure mad other people if you are a comic and observant in europe you did this joke but i was like 
Yo, I watched the BBC News and I was like, and this shit was just news. It's just I was boring, like, I'm used to America. Yeah. But this shit was just like, this happened up the street at three o'clock. Right. <laughs> then this shit happened on. Yeah. Like, it was just. Al Jazeera was the same news. way. News. Yeah. Right, right. It didn't give you anything else. It yeah. was just like, here is information. Yes. There was no opinion. It's foreign. You're like, what? It's jarring. There was no none when of that. It. it was just news. American news is like emotions. Yes, it's, it's, it's emotions. just emotions. It's emotions. It's You're right. Yeah. A lot of times, it it seems to be factless at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that'd be great if they delivered the news like you did. Some shit happened over here. <laughs> and some shit happened over Bro, here. That's it. I was like, yeah. no matter what, because even the bad stuff, I didn't feel like the anxiety I feel watching American news because they weren't like duh, 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 duh. fires in the uh, Bronx. People burning up. Duh, 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 duh. Bro, it was just like there was a fire in the Bronx. Yeah, <laughs> at yeah. two thirty, exactly on the street, <laughs> and that's how that's how the news should be delivered. <laughs> right. Monotone is Bro, how you should yeah. get your no news. No energy. Yeah. Somebody I'm, actually said that recently. Like, we should bring back Walter Cronkite, and they're like, "What do you want to bring back? Racism of the '60s?" Like, no, no, no. I want Walter <laughs> Cronkite news. back. Just give me news. Just yeah. give me news because this news is crazy. Like, and it's crazy on every level. It's not just politically crazy. Last Halloween, I was watching the news, and they were literally like flammable Halloween costumes. And then they had a blowtorch thing and they were just setting costumes on fire. Wow. And it was like, bro, I don't even know why I need to know this. Yeah, yeah. Like, truly and honestly, what are you trying to do to me right now? <laughs> I know. <laughs> just, it just make me fucking terrified. Well, if you see like what the uh, the most popular on the New York Times articles are, it's always something like Harry and Meghan and that's probably bad for them. I also, you know, because this is kind of mindless shit, you know? Oh, yeah. And then you look at, at the op-ed section in the New York Times. I remember back in the day, it used to be like four people. Yeah. Now like, it's like, feels like, like most flammable. of the fucking newspaper. That's yeah. true. Got Halloween costumes or something like that. It was like, truly. And they were like, these costumes burn. And then you're just doom scrolling. You're just <laughs> you're seeing like, school shooting, hate crime, uh, about, all this man? shit. <laughs> it's terrible. I did two weeks in London last year on a writing on a show, and it just feels so much lighter there. There's not that tension, and everybody's angry. It just felt just a little more laid back, and it, it was weird. You but don't it was feel great. Like tension as much though in person. I feel like I feel like That's it's mostly true. on Twitter. Right, right, and news, and news. News is like pro wrestling now. It's like two sides. Ah, you yeah. got to pick a side. And there's no truth to to like. It just feels like the truth is just gone. And like now, you can't. I just feel like if you're a liberal. You can't keep calling these people in middle America fucking stupid for believing what they believe right, and calling right. them fucking dumb and they don't get it and they don't read enough because the government and the media is lying to everybody consistently and constantly. So no one actually knows what to believe. Like they truly sat around for a long time and told us aliens don't exist. And then one day, kind of loosely, they were like, they probably do. And we probably <laughs> and we probably seen one and then just moved on with their fucking day. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so people are right to mistrust. Of course. It's like a toxic relationship where they're gaslighting you and then and then you're just like well, I guess you're the only person I can be with. Yeah. I honestly, you know? weirdly, right. when it comes to certain things like the alien shit, yeah. like the lab shit, I believe Trump the most because <laughs> I know that he's dumb and he probably is telling me shit he's not supposed to tell me. Oh, good point. <laughs> good point. Because he's stupid. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like other presidents knew how to keep all the white secrets. Yeah. And he's just like ignorant as fuck and he runs his mouth too much. Right. So he be saying shit like they probably told him a long time ago, yo, we think this is some lab shit but don't say nothing. And he was immediately <laughs> like, it's lab shit. Yeah. Cause that's how he is. Yeah. So if it's shit like that, I kind of lean toward like, this nigga probably right. The longer he's gone, <laughs> right. the longer he he's gone, he the funnier the I find him. Oh, right. mm, yeah. China, from China. <laughs> <laughs> also, isn't it weird that we it's less racist that it came from a bat in a wet market? To me, that's way like all oh, these dirty Chinese people making a fucking soup with bats in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that that's is way more wild worse. than just like a contained thing yeah, happening exactly. in a scientific space. It's weird. That was the racist that, one. Right. It doesn't make but sense. But we were all like, bat from Wuhan. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I know, right? Because <laughs> everybody's uh, fucking garbage. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You Bats do carry a lot bubble. of diseases, though. I think they made sense. That mm -hmm. They were like, well, they were disgusting animals. And you know what animals. else fucks it up? I feel like, like Instagram and TikTok be feeling that stuff because they always want to, like, I feel like all the, like, Asian media I get because I'm not Asian is, like, this, like, skewed American 
shit that we want to see mm. Asian people do and it's always like look at them eating a live squid and pouring a sauce on it and it's like it's all racism I'm sure they yeah. do more than this yeah. <laughs> yeah they invent a lot of shit whatever this is it's a lot of Asian fine. art yeah it's there's always like look at them eat stuff we would never eat and it's like I'm, all, I'm sure there's also other things. Yeah. yeah there's, so, there's all these like great cinema and art over there. And we're, just, and we're just like, we're like, put on one of the game shows. Yeah. 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 I want to see them fall. It's like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, we're not even tapping into like the essence of their culture. No. Right, right. We're just like, Ninja <laughs> Warrior, watch it be the live octopus. It's like, we're fucking dumb. For a while on TikTok, I got sent just videos of an Asian lady slamming her face into bread. Did you see? guys see that one? And that's I loved it. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. That's the problem. I mean, bro. we are getting dumber. Oh, yeah. Well, they say the TikTok's going to go away. They've been saying that for a while, though. Well, it's I mean, Ariel. Trump was, Trump was going to get rid of TikTok. Remember Ooh. that? Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. They got rid of it in um, Canada. You can't have it if you work for the government. You can't have it. On oh. your phone. Why? They feel like it's bad. <laughs> no, it's, it's run by Taking the CCP, the, the communist Chinese government, and it's it's their property. It, it's a data collection. Exactly. This might sound ignorant, but. What isn't? Who isn't taking data right now? Everybody is. Everything. Everything you log on. I mean, look. Look at it's Facebook. Look what data. Facebook it's has done. Well, they don't want them taking it's data. China taking data. Of course. Data. That's all it is. Of course. But I. I mean, it really is amazing that like every time. I mean, Apple caught shit for like going on. They say ask app not to track. Apple caught shit for that. That's like pretty pro people, I would think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Well, that shit's crazy. You ever talk about like dildos? Then you get a dildo ad. Oh, come like, right wait, what? Oh my god. There's a new squirt and dildo. I just learned. <laughs> that's the world. There we, it is. That's the world we're in. That's they're, crazy. They're fully in our lives, baby. I know. Well, the, Facebook has a thing called the off. I think it's like the off security track or whatever it's called. But you have to go to your Facebook settings and turn it off. Whoa. So you basically have to be like, I don't want you to spy on me. It comes with them spying on you. Uber yeah. was tracking you five minutes after you dropped got dropped off uber? Uh -huh. uber was they still tracking you walking around walking around and why they said, why was a good question so they said we were doing it to know where to better drop you off next time so like if we dropped you off here, oh, you you walk here but it's still like five minutes but yeah. also that doesn't make any sense because who says i'm going back there next time they right. don't know where i'm going <laughs> exactly <Uber? laughs> yeah i go to different places that might not be my house yeah. you know what i mean like how do you know where but the you fuck have patterns. i'm going you have patterns you, right like, you right. go to madison square garden to the next game what entrance should we drop mark you off goes at? to mexican blowjob shops oh. you know yeah. Yo, you want to know what's crazy <laughs> that's fucking true because now damn i didn't think about that hmm. now whenever i type in madison square garden it automatically pops up for pin because that's the entrance i always oh, go to oh shit yeah. there it goes i didn't even think about that it happened to me the other day and i thought it was weird i was like hmm. damn it went right to four pin there you go. You're a big hoops fan. Yeah. You love basketball. Yeah. Who? How did you get into basketball? Who was your first team? Was it that '90 Celtics team? No, I wasn't in the Celtics. I was too young to like. Like the Celtics were too bad to be fans of them mm -hmm. when I was. Yeah, like, you had like the Dino Raja years. I have when in my younger basketball years, it was squads. I because I my city sucked. Boston was losing at everything yeah. for a long time. Really? Like every sport. They were bad at hockey. They were bad at baseball. They were bad at football. They were bad at basketball. So it was really hard being a Boston sports fan, especially like in the '90s and shit. So I would just pick like squads. Like every basketball season, I had a new group uh -huh. that I liked how they were playing. Yeah. So at one point, it was like the the Bibby Kings. Yeah, they were sick. Webb, Bibby, all them. Then there was the uh, Allen Houston. Um, the Knicks, Fucking, baby. Yeah, uh, Starks, yeah. Knicks. I liked them for a little while. You know what I mean? I was just kind of, then I was a Kobe fan. Mm -hmm. I was a huge Kobe fan. So then it was like the Lakers for a while. But even with the Lakers, because I wasn't from LA like that, I would still be like, I like Lakers and I like right. whatever, whatever, whatever team, or whatever, whatever, whatever team like that. You can't be a Boston person rooting for LA. Exactly. Mm, so I had to kind of yeah. pick a, pick other shit to, to also be into. Oh, what a great fluid way to be. This is how sports fandom should be. They should draft you. I was oh, they too. should go for your, to, to be like, we spent this much. You should follow us this year. Fuck your home. Sorry, fuck your hometown. Fuck your hometown. No. What is that a little fair no. weather? <laughs> fair weather? Who cares? It's like, build the best team. I'll follow you. I mean, I had to be at the time, like, really, like, Boston had nothing going on. Yeah. It was like, if I was, I didn't want to be miserable, dog. It was like to be a Boston sports fan at that time. It was like I wouldn't have wanted to watch anything. And it was some exciting teams and exciting players. And oh, so, yeah. And I started to just like what I like. Like, I love Peja. You know what I mean? I started picking players. Like, I love mm. how this motherfucker play. I love how this motherfucker play. I like how this motherfucker plays. And that's how I kind of, like, um, got way into basketball. And then, like, the Pierce... You know... KG. That era, then I was, like, a Boston fan. 
And then I stayed like a Celtics fan. But the way I watched basketball, if the Celtics started like losing bad for the next three years, I would follow another team. Now, I'll be honest, I never bought another team's jerseys. I never mm. bought, like, I couldn't bring myself. I'm too much of a Bostonian to, like, put on a, a Kobe <laughs> joint and just stand in that joint. <laughs> like, if my if my team sucked. Now, Boston was also competing. Fine, I wear a Kobe joint and a, and a brown joint and a whatever. We got competitors. But when we were, like, bad, it just felt like wild. Like cheating. Yeah, it felt wild, disloyal to do some shit like that. Right. So I never did no shit like that. You know what I'm I saying? Hear you. I just didn't buy nothing. I was just like, I just don't wear jerseys. You know yeah. what I mean? My first jersey was a Celtics jersey. Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Like my first football jersey was a Tom Brady jersey. You know, I yeah. just didn't participate in sports in that way That's until me. I felt proud of my own city and yeah. the shit that we were doing. That's why I didn't wear FUBU. Felt like cheating. Yeah, it, <laughs> you know. yeah. I like that about you, Mark. You stay true to your white man. Yeah. <laughs> some people, man, I like that about you, but I, re I respect it. You Thank know, you. Some, some white men got to go down with the ship. <laughs> Everybody just can't jump off. That ain't No, real. I'm staying on the Amistad. <laughs> oh, my God. You fucking nut. <laughs> joking this is well, crazy well, they're gonna run this shit back in like 10 years and it's gonna be like that clip they show chris rock i know with oh. louis ck oh, saying yeah. nigger a bunch and chris <laughs> is just like yeah hey, like funny that, 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 that was a real that was a real heat check from louis that's yeah. what they're gonna do that was louis being like i can do no <laughs> wrong let me let me drop the like, n-word in front of chris Sam rock mark his fucking face <laughs> yeah. well i'm serious about the fubu though i didn't want to wear it because it was literally for us by us so i'm not wearing no that. i'm saying that's real like yeah. the white boys who did it were annoying yes I like that you just stay loyal to your white shit. Of course. And you do it to this day. You're just a white guy. And I'm I a white guy. That, don't you? Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're all, it's a lot of white guys. You here. don't try <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> well, I, well, I love that'd that. That'd be annoying if you did. I agree. No, I don't like it. And I like Mark. Mark will say some offensive white guy shit, and he don't even know why. Yeah, well, There's I'm trying been to be times Mark comes to the cellar like, what are they mad about? And I'm like, you're just, <laughs> you're just so white in a guy. <laughs> <laughs> what um... <laughs> I don't know. It's a good equalizer saying <laughs> fucked up shit, you know, because if I don't say it around you, I feel like that's weird. Yeah, you know? well, for sure. For Tre sure. The I, same. I appreciate you can, you the You can only honesty. be Mark. The way they say Manny being Manny, it's Mark being Mark. Mm -hmm. That's that's who he is. Who's Manny? I would say the honesty. Manny Ramirez. Ah, uh, Ramirez. What, uh, right, pack, when are you yeah. going to tape another special? June. Oh, damn. That was quick. Where are you taping? <laughs> June 17th. What? Yeah. You just did one. Are you, what? Six three months? Years ago? No, the no, Netflix. It was, yeah, it was three a while was it back. Three years. That's why I asked when you're doing one. Well, yeah. she had like ten TV shows and movie. I felt like that was. Right. She's doing other shit. Like She's a year at the most. Mm -hmm. like Damn. Three years ago, bro. All right. Wh where are you gonna tape it? Uh, Brooklyn Steel. Oh, okay. Ooh, good one. I, I don't think I've been there. I think mm. Che did one there. Oh shit! Is that the one in like the warehousey kind of? Yeah, but that's why I thought Che did it too, but he, it wasn't at Brooklyn oh, Steel. He okay. said it was somewhere else, but I thought that's what I think it was. I have yeah. been like, there, actually. Matters. Yes. That's why I thought it was too, but he said no. Oh, okay. Maybe but they, I was asking I him, I was asking like how he shot in there, what, what it was like, but he said no. But I think Ricky's last one was there. Oh, mm -hmm. gotcha. The HBO one. Yeah, I like the space because you can kind of make it what you want. Right, it. right. It's very like, and I wanted to do I looked at that New one. York. Yeah, it's like near the water. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I wanted to do New York. I was like, oh, it's time to do one where I live. Where was the last one? Atlanta. That's oh. right. Okay. Yeah. Atlanta's a good comedy city too. Great yeah, yeah. town. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's exciting. So you've been touring with this one mm -hmm, a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. And it's like you're touring you're for like damn near six, seven months. Wow. Nice. Yeah. So you, I'm trying to get fifty more shows in before tape. Oh, I saw you at the cellar like a few weeks ago, and it was fucking hilarious. Oh, it was, thank it was you. really I'm fun. Trying, man. Yeah. Can I ask you about the Rock special? You were there. Yeah. What was it like being there? And cr crazy. Yeah. Just the energy was crazy. Seeing that someone do it live and like that's a big deal, you know. Like, yeah, that's not easy to do. Mm -hmm. Um, to just go for it live at five because the truth is you can't predict the energy. Mm -hmm. You can't. Yeah. You can't predict the energy. You can't predict <laughs> how the room's gonna be, and that's why we like to tape too, right? That's what you do. Typically. Yeah. I taped seven last time. For real? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Typically, you least, at least I, that's not normal, but you do at least, least two. At least two. Mm. I feel like a network, unless they love you, they'll give you a budget for two. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? If you shooting for right. HBO, you shooting for whatever. Unless you like rock and you like, I'm shooting a week of fucking shows, yeah. and then we gonna mm -hmm. figure this out. Yeah. They let you do two, but like at the minimum, you're doing two. 
And of those two, you're picking the best. Right. Yeah. Of oh, yeah. How, of what work? How it work? Because the energy is so unpredictable. Yeah, you yeah. know, just you just don't know what group of people you're gonna be getting. And laughter's so infectious, and mm. it, it, and the crowd dictates so much of how it works. The uh, the community yes. you just show up with the jokes. You gotta show up with the jokes. But if they're in a mood, mm. and they make a decision, and off that first one, they like no. And then you perform worse. Whoa, yeah. that could set this whole road. So to go like, fuck it, I'm going to grab my nuts and go live. Yeah. And just take it as it comes. Well, there's like a weird pressure on the audience, too, to, to bring it. You know, it, it's it's pretty stressful. But I feel like Baltimore, they, you get what you get. They're not. I don't feel like Baltimore is like, we're going to be nicer because it's a special. Yeah, and I mean, that was intentional. Like, Chris purposely was like, I want to do it for that reason. Like, yeah. I want to come to Baltimore and, and like grab my dick and see, and see what it does. So... To just watch that energy and she was fire. Was there an opener in that room? Because I saw no, what was on TV. No, that was it. He went in no. cold like that. Wow. Yeah, no. Doesn't that, he normally as Rick that, go all out? All that right? TV shit was yeah. happening oh, in yeah. LA. Did they broadcast that in the room? No. Wow, he just walked out on stage. Yep. Wow. Yep. With those boots. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice the boots. That was a risk. <laughs> yeah, he, no. He, he pulled it off, but yeah. We all watched it and it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, he just I watched out. him run it a couple I didn't see actually see a special, but I watched him run it a couple times and uh mm -hmm. and I, I yeah, I loved the material. I thought it was yeah. it was great. Yeah, he just walked out. He just for only one. Wow. Damn. Only had that night. That's crazy. I saw some video I'm a huge rock guy, like bring the pain a bigger me blacker to yeah. me a top ten. Oh my I th god. I, I think yeah. Roll with the New got me into stand up. I oh, think wow. I th I remember hearing that album. And just, I probably got half the jokes. I was so young, but mm. I remember Fresh I was listening to that boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I was, uh, I remember listening to it. My mom was like, what are you listening to? And grabbed it and I watched her put the headset on and I watched this like look of horror on her face. Uh, followed by like 30 seconds later her laughing. I was like, oh, that's fucking beautiful. Yeah. Wow. That, a, that a joke Comedy. can do that. That like, yeah. he can kind of push you away with the premise and then bring you right back. Yeah. I mean, that's Rock's gift. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Is his, he can say something really polarizing mm -hmm. and then just bring immediately to this, yeah, unite. To this it's, it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, Rock is one of the great oh, yeah. comics oh God, yeah. ever. I mean, yeah. it's insane. But what I was gonna say is, I saw a video and it was this lady, black lady saying that he's <clears throat> he's not, he doesn't play to black audiences. Like he's trying to perform for white people. And I'm like, are you kidding? He's like doing it in Baltimore. When I don't know, see, it's such like, a crazy when accusation. Did you see this? When did you see this? Like a week ago. So this is the crazy thing I feel is like, uh, people's memory is so fucking selective and it's gross in my opinion, because it's like, to say that is incredibly ignorant. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What was it, Bigger and Blacker or Bigger and Pain was at the Apollo? Right, You know right. what I mean? It's like, yeah. you just don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Totally. CB4 is for white audiences. <laughs> yeah. You just don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. No Sex in the Champagne Room was for white audiences. Like, he was literally being a black voice and the only black voice in comedy yeah. like that for a minute. Good hair on that was level, for us. On that level, yeah. for a minute. You talking about the Chris Rock show? Right. Was for white people? You sound nuts. And the problem I have, especially when black people do that, is that they equate success to whiteness. Ah, so because he is successful in this good. thing, and he's not in some dark corner right. doing comedy only in fucking Mississippi, right. and now all of a sudden he's doing it for white people, and it's like, shut the fuck up. I know. You have no idea what you're talking about. It's totally disrespectful to the man's legacy, his history, the amount of shit he has done for black people, the amount of spaces that he has been in and represented for black people in those spaces just because you went to some show and now that he's fucking a mega star, there happen to be a lot of white people there. Yes. Shut up, bitch. I agree. That's well, stupid. Yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, white people like him because he's funny. I think. I think. It. I think he's. Yeah, he's. And and when I see like someone like Megyn Kelly post how funny the special is, and and then people are like, "This is part of the problem." All you can do is put out the jokes. Uh, Whoever's yeah. gonna like it is gonna like it. Oh my him. god! There's been times where I've done jokes in the fucking most whitest, whitest Republican man has come to me and be like, I fucking love that fucking shit about the da 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 da. And I'm like, I guess, bro. I don't know. Yeah. I just said what I said. If it's I good, it's good. I, <laughs> I wasn't saying it to you, right, you know? Like, right, right. And but by the way, the, the, the job is to kill. 
The job yes. is to have a good set. So, yeah, I mean, if you're making people, it's a good thing to bring people together. And also there's a lot of other shit, too. Like, it's like he doesn't have to do all the work of blackness. Yeah. He's doing his corner of his thing. There's also motherfuckers writing books. There's motherfuckers making movies. Yeah. There's motherfuckers painting pictures. <laughs> so, like, if you're not getting the thing from Chris, there's other yeah. motherfuckers doing comedy. Like, just go search for it somewhere else. He doesn't have to hold up the whole job. Uh, that's yeah, that's so course. so well said. I mean, it's like, it, how unfair is it that that would be his duty to, to I hold know. up? Uh, he's an entertainer. I, I've always said once people start putting this weight on comic shoulders as being more than just a comedian, it's kind of dangerous for comedy. I agree. You're, you, once you have this duty as this level as, of importance as a citizen you know to be this even to be like an artist but it's all these like, people can kind of like suck my dick because yeah. it's like yeah also you're not doing any of this in your day-to-day -day. it's like yo you're you're walking around in the world you're interacting with people all the time yeah you're having these encounters in the world are you doing this shit are you doing this work that you're just throwing on all these right. other people to to do because <laughs> exactly. what because they're on television i like, think often yeah. these people are not you're it's right annoying. they're not going out into the world and, and when we tour with material we're at least seeing you're honing a set based on every state in the country yes, liking it. You really, are, you really are. You and really are. You really are making it work. And you're having real conversations after your show. You're sitting at the bar. If you've offended someone, like yeah. we're not, we're not rappers. You get what I'm saying? Like we don't, we especially at this level when we're when we're at this level of comedy. You know, not a Dave level or a Chris level. It's like, bro, it's not like I'm getting rushed off the stage under a fucking jacket and <laughs> no one's allowed to talk to me. I go to the bar and if I make someone mad, they walk up to me and yes. they go, "You made me fucking mad." Same. And I have a conversation with them what were you actually fucking mad about right. well i was mad about this and i was mad about that well this is why i said this and this is why i said that and i take that and continue it into my act and i go out and i keep building and i'm having these conversations with people in fucking utah and i'm having these conversations with people in fucking la and i'm having these conversations with people in wyoming and i'm having these conversations with people in fucking atlanta so when i finally stand in front of you with a fucking special and i say hey i think this might be the temperature nigga i did a job exactly <laughs> yeah i'm not just fucking talking and also right. maybe think and you happen to be just fucking talking you haven't talked to anybody but your fucking friends so <laughs> maybe you don't know what the fuck you're talking about you're right maybe you're in the That's echo maybe chamber the maybe you're yes. in the echo chamber and i'm not I yes. mean, exactly. the humility it takes to hone an hour i mean you have to you have to suffer a little bit not really suffer but bomb a little bit and sure. sometimes you have to be wrong there's been times yeah, i've done course. shit and then someone will come up to me after a show with their real life experience and i'm like god damn i gotta reanalyze yes. what the fuck i'm saying it is help me before i did not consider yeah. that mm. I did not consider that life experience. I did not consider yeah. that when I was talking about this. And now I do need to, because now I've heard it, it's my responsibility to now incorporate this or at least consider this as I continue to say these words and put this shit out into the world. So it's like, no, you who just goes to work and talks to your four friends and comes home and that's all you're doing and you're not actually out here seeing and feeling and I'm not knocking that, but you don't get to come and tell me what the fuck I should be saying. Yeah. Yes. That's not... That's not how we're doing this. If they come at you in a non-combative way, I have listened and it has been, you know, a positive experience for me. I remember yeah. I had I had a joke in like 2014. No, I'm saying non-combative, but I'm saying like these yeah. motherfuckers would just get on the internet and be like, uh, and it's crazy. Like, the fact that they no, assume baby. the the, the, the intent is malicious is nobody is, wants to hurt anybody. Right. We're trying to get a laugh. Most people don't. Yeah. But I mean, you know, we I remember don't. a woman came up to me after a show in like 2014 and said, I had a joke where I say the word tranny in it, and she goes, just so you know, I have a trans kid. It's it's a slur. It's like a shitty word for us. And I said. I didn't know that. I'm glad you told me. I, the joke works. She's, she said to me, the joke works without you saying that. So I said, that's a good point. All right, it's gone. But and I'll, that's real. If that's you what only I'm all do that, this yeah. is the nice way to do it, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that's real. But that's what I'm saying because you're going out and you're doing the shit and you're being tried and true and you're standing in front of real people and doing this. Yeah. So it's like you're getting that real feedback. Uh, I feel like sometimes people see the special. It's like, you think that's the first time I said any of this shit? I know. I've right. been saying this shit for a year. I think some yeah. people might think that. I've been Probably. saying this shit for a year. I've been touring this shit for a year. I've been tweaking I've been, it. I've been tweaking this for a year. Like, yeah. what do you, what do you, I, I didn't just write this in the bathroom this morning. Right. <laughs> I think some people think that we do, though. It's yeah. it's so frustrating. Yeah. But also, you know? just because you perceived it a certain way, doesn't mean that's how I meant it. 
Just because it went in your head a certain way doesn't mean also, I was going for that. Maybe I just wasn't fucking talking to you. Just because you didn't get it doesn't mean it doesn't deserve to exist. Yes. Just because you didn't like it doesn't mean it shouldn't be around. Maybe I wasn't fucking talking to you in the first place. Maybe this isn't the conversation for you. There's a lot of other shit to go see. Yeah. There's a lot of other shit to go watch. Find the conversation that is for you. Yes. But stop trying to eliminate conversations from the fucking world because you don't like them. It's weird. I agree. It's That's so crazy. fucking weird. What if we do that with everything? Hey, there's hot sauce burn my tongue all hot sauce has to go that's insane it's behavior like, i don't know i'm not <laughs> it, any of this shit like there's there's white dude coming so i'm like i don't give a shit about whatever this guy's saying but I'm like there's some white guy somewhere who does and he's listening and he yeah. to this he podcast also, he also deserves to be like affirmed <laughs> yeah you know yeah, what i mean yeah, he's, a he also being. Deserves, he's a person and like it just isn't for me so i'll go do the things that are for me and you should go do the things that are for you. And that's the great thing about being in America and having fucking options, you know? Like, yes, exactly. Having freedoms. And, and and it's interesting, like, sometimes watching a comic struggle through this is way more entertaining than watching them kill. Like, I've seen you kill. I've also seen those sets of viewers where you're kind of working it out and it's not quite clicking. And those, as a comic, are sometimes more entertaining for me. For real. Yeah, I like yeah. watching a comic battle a, it out. a good comic i don't like watching a bad comic bomb i like watching a good comic bomb sometimes because they have to adapt right and right. it's and it's interesting to me sure and you're gonna bomb like you're out here doing the shit you're gonna bomb and that's also another thing is like sometimes i'll like like it's like maybe you just caught me on a bad <laughs> night baby girl i'm a person yeah, yeah. exactly i'm a person I'll, out here just talking out of my mouth I don't have a, a filter. I don't have an edit happening in between this. It's just me and you and thoughts. So sometimes things may get convoluted, misconstrued, misunderstood, because that's how fucking conversations work. Yes, exactly. And I think in this world now, everything's so curated. You order Grubhub, gluten-free, none of this, none of that. But comedy, they show up at a show and they're just like, whoa, I didn't sign up for this shit. And I'm like, that's a good well, point. Well, you kind of did, because this no, is a comedy show. No, you signed up for a live yeah. performance experience and that means you don't know what the fuck you're gonna get yes exactly but isn't it great that comedy elicits this type of response because i think that means we're taken seriously as a form of entertainment now we lost him. he had to Bye, go baby. pick up his kid but don't you think that's like think about how <laughs> mad people would get at like spike lee or tarantino and now i think comedy gets that type of attention i think it's kind of good yeah but i do miss those old niche days when wrong. we were in a, in I, I think a it's basement good and it's bad though because it's getting that kind of attention, but because it's getting that kind of attention, this is the problem. Tarantino, all this shit, it's getting that kind of attention from people that it have been enough like familiarity with like movies to get the medium. I feel like it's all these motherfuckers just coming to comedy that don't even get the art form at all. Oh, of course. And then they're just like, it should be this. And yes, it's like, exactly. Bitch, do you even get what it is we do? But do movies you? have been around longer than stand up. No, that's has. what I'm trying to yeah. say. Like, it, it, the, there's a consciousness of what it is right. that's just embedded in the American right, brain. Right, right. I want, and I want Brian Regan. People don't get the job that we do. They don't get the process that it is. Well, there's people that do, but I don't think the average just person who only watches specials. It's never, you know, people have never been to a live stand. Oh, show? yeah. Wow. Do you know Crazy. what I mean? A I get a lot, lot of that. that. But this only watch specials and go, like, I know what this is, should be. Yeah. yeah. But, the, but the frustration also comes with, like, we're turning over material. That's the frustration. So you have to bomb, and that's frustrating. And the, the comics who are just going up and killing all the time, who these people might have no problem with, are comics that they might actually hate because that's a comic that's not writing new jokes. That's what I'm saying. Mm, yeah. that's, what, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. They don't yeah. understand. What exactly. It is. Yeah. Right. Like this. This. <laughs> this woman went under when I was promoting the movie, and she goes in my comments, and she's like, "I don't know how this bum got a movie. I was just at the cellar, and this ass hat sat around and did a whole set about Jeffrey Dahmer, and it was shit." And she was looking in her phone the whole fucking time. How the fuck did she get it? And I was like, you're not wrong, lady. That's what happened that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Tuesday. I was trying out a dollar bit. You're working I out. I didn't have it quite down. I was in my fucking phone. That was the night. But for her, it's Tuesday. And I went out to, I'm supposed yeah, to. They yeah. don't understand. They had a big night out. They but they're getting smarter. Like I, I will. You yeah, know what I'm saying? of so course. So she's just like, 
who fuck me? Yes. You know, I'm shit. Exactly. <laughs> but I think the crowd is the, the audience has become much more sophisticated. I'm I'm sure you deal with this on the road too, but like we talk about this so much on the podcast, like new bits and all that shit, that I will like take a notepad out on stage sometimes and people will like applaud. Like they want to be a part of it now. Yes, I think comedy yes. crowds have gotten Savvy. more hip. Yeah. No, I definitely think that. But I'm. But I, not every crowd, obviously. I think that's yeah. Still these and people. I think like a lot. The average. A, com, that's a comedy crowd, right? Yeah. Right. I think the average person is like, I come in, you off the top of your head, bust my gut. And if you don't, you don't deserve to have this job. But that's that's yes. a comedy seller. Yes. That's a comedy seller where you might be following someone who is playing the hits. So if you don't come up and just murder, right, that's why the right. seller can be hard to work out at sometimes. Sure. But, because you're following some fucking murderer. Yeah. Who's just doing 15? That's gonna crush. And then you're like, well, let me see what. I, and they're just like, what? But they yeah. don't understand that it's a choice. They yeah. think it's just you failing. Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> No, you suck. You're like, you no, suck. no, this will be great. And you're like, no, baby, I could have hit you with the hits. Yeah. yeah. I just didn't want to, darling, because this is where I work at. This right. This is where I work out at. I got to I gotta get good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is how I get good. You know what I'm saying? But they don't. And, that, and, it's, and it's weird because then they watch stuff like Chris that way and they watch... You know what I'm saying? They what's, watch, what is, what's the first thing Chris says when he pops into the cellar? Lower, lower your, your expectations. expectations. Yeah, they watch this stuff without the context of what it is that we're actually doing and then they judge it on this scale of like, well, Eddie Murphy raw. And you're yeah. like, baby girl. <laughs> it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday. You thought you were gonna get raw here? You spent 15 bucks to get here. Yeah, exactly. And and I know we've said it a million, t what? I was told the same as to go. Oh, at five. <clears throat> Oh shit! Do we I don't want to hold you. I don't have a Zoom call anymore. Oh yeah, all that uh, shit got moved. Oh great. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, y'all, I have nothing to do. <laughs> well, Cause... it's been said a million times. It's called a comedy club, but you wouldn't just have a music club because you could have reggae, country, rap, rock, and you don't know what you're getting. But like yeah, yeah. comedy club, it's it's uh, you, then it's uh, you know Caitlin Palufo, then it's you, then it's Sherrod Small. It's all over the place, and so. But that's what I'm saying. They also don't know, like, the difference between you're coming to a club on a Tuesday or you're going to a Sam J show. That's right. two different things, right? If you come to a Sam J show and for an hour I'm in my phone doing weird shit about Dahmer and you pay 30 bucks, yell at me because I'm being bad. If you come to the cellar on a Tuesday, we, a lot of I might not have even been on. <laughs> yeah, I might have just showed up and be like, "Yo, can I try some Dahmer shit out?" Right. And they were like, "Yeah, you can." <laughs> this is a different situation. You hear all these stories though about like these rock, these behind the music videos, these rock stars had to be like carried on stage on heroin. Oh yeah, and then I'm like, I had one bad set where I was one of like seven comics. Right, but every yeah. other art form they understand that, right? Like if they go like back in the day when fucking. You had punk at its height, and they're like, "We're about to go on a Tuesday to see." They knew they were just going to see these niggas jam. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're like, "That's dope. We gonna go see these motherfuckers jam." Or you know when you're just watching. That's why players shoot around, and you're like, "I'm not expecting them to give me game." They're right, shooting around. right. Every time we on stage, they want the game. Yes, yeah. they want the game. But the but the and thing if they don't about get the game, you are bad at comedy. But a musical, a musical. <laughs> <laughs> but the musical bomb is is a harder uh, bomb to notice than a stand up bomb. Like if we're not connecting, you fucking feel it. If you oh, see a musician yeah. bomb, and you're like, it's not. It's uncomfortable, but it's not like horrible. You yeah, know? yeah. He's still playing music. Dude, it's rare that you're like watching a musician and you're like, I hate this person. <laughs> oh, no, but that will happen know. to us. They yeah. form of strong. They decide like I don't yeah. like you. I know. I Not as a like comic, you. but as like a human. They're like, I don't yeah, like no, this no, yeah, human. You, you, you. <laughs> they think they know you. And I'm like, they they, they know these you. are jokes. And I, they're like, I don't like you. Right. I'm like, I just said the worst thing to get a laugh. Dude, I don't believe I that thing. Stage and people have been like, you need to be nicer to your girlfriend. And I'm like, <laughs> what? <That's> hilarious. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I proposed to her. Like David Tell one time was like, uh, what do you do? And the guy goes, I work at Nickelodeon. He goes, no wonder I'm hard. <laughs> and obviously he's not attracted to children. But it's the it's funny to say that because that's the wrong thing to be, and that's comedy. And it tells it tells another one who when he gets a bad crowd is one oh, of the funniest fun dudes to watch. To watch he's slamming it, the stand down. Yeah, he's just getting cranky and oppositional. Yeah. They make you oppositional, and it's like you don't want to be. But when they're bad, you're like, all right, 
Yeah. Like, Fuck y'all, man. Exactly, exactly. Now I'm going harder. I'm leaning <laughs> what in. Is this? What was the vibe at the after party for Rock? Was it fun? Yeah, but it's like them niggas have been there and done it. Right. So they don't it don't have the energy of new newness. It's just like we gonna have a couple of drinks and go home. <laughs> like literally. That's kinda better at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I so what I heard Chris say, there's no food, I'm leaving. You know, like yeah. That energy of like, I gotta be here doing this shit. Like, they're not chasing no more. And they're 56 or whatever. Yeah, they're too. not chasing no more. Right. So the energy was that of of a bunch of seats, because Dave was there. It's like these motherfuckers are seasoned and know it. <laughs> yeah. They ain't chasing nothing. I kind of like that better because no, it I'm, was. It's cool to see. Yeah, cool to see the other side. Because you, you know the the after party is kind of another performance, mm-hmm. and then everybody goes, "That was great. You mm-hmm. killed it." And you and gotta go, like, "Yeah, oh, thank, thank you, you yeah." Thank you, thank and it, it's more work. It's another job. Yeah, it's another job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I'm doing the special in two weeks, and they're like, "Where's the after party?" And I'm Where like, "Don't should... do it, Chicago." Oh. Oh yeah. The Vic. Oh. But we put it out. Netflix. Hell yeah. Are you doing Netflix again? That's exciting. No. No. Uh-oh. That's exciting. Do you know where you're doing it yet? Is this live? No. Oh, Literally, Chris Rock. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, oh, cut that. What's going on? Lifetime. <laughs> Oxygen. <laughs> uh, Tyler Perry Hello. bought a BT. Or he's buying BT. That's what I, I mean. He already really? owned it. Every show oh, on BT is a Tyler Perry show. <laughs> he's got like twenty shows on that fucking channel. Oh jeez, I'm it. so happy. I, I got cable again for the first time in forever, and I'm so happy I got it. Cable's the shit. I, I never just, let it go. I, was, I don't know why anyone would let it go. I just it's so necessary. Like, yeah, I was just flipping around the other day. I was like, yeah, fuck it. I watched the last half of Cape Fear. <laughs> it's fucking great no, to have that option. I love flipping. It's my favorite part. It is essential it's like radio like, i have every streamer but i've always kept cable because sometimes i just like to yeah and then i'll land on some shit and i'll be like damn it's been a minute since i watched house party right you're they remaking it it it's looks pretty stumble. bad i saw the reboot it's already out it's oh already out. is it good i don't talk bad about black art so it's amazing <laughs> 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 do we still have her are we still picking her up all black art all black art is good art <laughs> Put the captions in. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bad black art, bro. I don't know. Did you see Pootie Tang? That shit's fire. I'm joking. No, that's Pootie Tang's funny. I think Louie wrote that, actually. I love Pootie Tang. That's fun. Pootie Tang's a fun. controversial one. Like, really? It. I think it's pretty funny. That's uh, funny. I think Pootie Tang is funny. Isn't Robert Vaughn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. We're doing like a lot of long bus stretches uh, for for we're doing the tour bus like coming up like a couple eleven day stretches, uh-huh. and I just have like booklets of DVDs I'm bringing, and you're like, okay, what's a good movie? But what's a good bus movie? And you know, I've got like the dumb shit. I've got got yeah. like Road Trip on there. I got Don't Be a Menace on there. Oh, I got, yeah. What are your black movies? Yeah, okay. Oh geez, what do I have? White I, Man I, Can't Jump is number one. That's is that one that's black a black movie? movie? Oh yeah. He's so white. That's How not, is that not black? The title is White Men. <laughs> Can't jump. There's an insult in the title. Great movie. Oh, uh, Boys Trying in the Hood. What black movies I have in there? I, I mean, I have a, I do have a good mix of movies. I even have some foreign shit in there, but those aren't good bus movies, so I have to move them out. I don't know off the top of my head what's in there. Friday. Friday. I actually do have Friday in there. Friday's great. I fucking love Friday. Oh yeah, Chris Tucker. I saw steals Friday it. in the movie theater. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. John Witherspoon in the black was so movie good. theater. Wow. Yeah. She was lit. Damn. <laughs> Money Friday. talks is in the black movie, but I have that in there. We'll take it. Black I love. We'll take it. I love Chris Tucker. If Chris Tucker's in it, we own it. Besides yeah. Fifth Element. Oh yeah, that's very white. <laughs> but he still killed it. He's always mm. good. Dude, Money Talks is a fucking so hilarious it's movie. It's so good. It's so funny. It's so good. I wish that he and Sheen did a couple more together because yeah, they had like a they good had a vibe. Good chemistry. It was a good vibe. Mm-hmm. I, love, I need uh, more of that back. Yeah. We don't got everything's so motherfucking heavy now, man. I know. I'm like, just bring back the because fucking... they won't give. They won't put out the, very they won't few comedies. Light it. It's like just put out the light shit. Like everything. Like, did you see the new Pinocchio? No, is no. It good? It's crazy. But sad. Good? Sad. Uh, but it's sad. Good? Heavy. I couldn't finish it because I was like, Yeah. Who is this for? Like, yeah, right. It's, it starts. First of all, it starts, they show the real kid, which is like, we never want to know who the real kid was. Mm. That's already too much. So Geppetto kicking it with the real son, there is a bombing, a literal bombing. The son dies in a bombing. Geppetto becomes an alcoholic. Jesus, that's a kid's movie. <laughs> You're like, yo, 
Wow. It what? sounds kind of amazing, though. No fuck. It, the art is dope. Like, the, the, Isn't it Guillermo the stop del Toro? Yeah, the stop oh, yeah he's is, amazing. The stop animation is dope, but yeah. watching it, I was just like, why does it have to be all this, bro? I'm it, convinced that's why Ted Lasso became so popular. But I feel like yeah. he it's also just so said, light. the director also said, like, don't show this to your kids. Well, what the fuck? It's Pinocchio. <laughs> but it's like, bro, this is great. Like, he's a whole alcoholic, like, getting drunk under a tree. Whoa. And, Damn. Like, ready to kill himself. It's like he's it's, they insinuating like he's on the brink of suicide. Right, right. And then, like, fairy come and the tree and they're like we're gonna make you a kid but the kids all like scary looking like pinocchio's all gangly and like <laughs> it's just crazy you know what started that up remember up the be- great as fuck. movie but in the beginning i cried i it was know. like a no, fucking fuck mon- montage of this pretty- guy's yeah, wife it's dying it's just like shit's bad heavy it's heavy even house party like and i think it's good but it's like the the start of the premise of him like needing money for his daughter and i'm just mm-hmm. like Jesus. Why can't we just be throwing a party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me like, goof troop. Like, it's so heavy. Like, yeah. I get it. I heard Rush Hour like, 4 is opening with a rape. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm like, we don't need that. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it is. I do I do love when a movie can just be fun. Like, I, I was telling Mark, I watched uh, Megan, that new movie. I heard it's good. It's fun. I watched this shit It's too. a fun movie. It's lit. It's a fun. Ronnie Chang, was, Ronnie Chang was killing Ronnie me. Ronnie was great. Every time he popped on screen, he was killing me. And it, and it's just like a fun yeah. movie. She just killing people. For I guess it is it. dark. It's, the beginning's dark. But, but it's like, like but it was silly light dark. comedy. Yeah, exactly. It's campy a little bit, right, you know? Like, right. it's like, come on, dog. I was into it. And then when she started dancing and shit, you're like, this is just goofy. <laughs> yeah, you're right, it. though. It is harder, like, it's Everything's heavy. It's all serial killer docs, true crime, all day I'm long. I'm kind of over Bundy. the serial killer. I'm did, done with I, it. I did watch the Murdoch one just because it was on the news. I watched it just because yeah, it was kind of good. That's a hell of a story. Once once it got to the point where they were like the maid got pushed down a they flight of stairs by, a, by dogs. They killed yeah. the maid, bro. Oh, of course. Yeah. That's what not what insurance. dogs do. But you know what's shady? <laughs> he also lied to the family like, I'm going to hook y'all up with the bread. And didn't even <laughs> give him no bread. No, I was no. like, at least give him the bread. You know you killed the maid. Well, o- OJ commented on the the jury. That was fun. I yeah, feel like he's become a legal correspondent. I, like, in his I don't later know days. if he killed his wife and his kids. He did, but he did. I know that he killed enough people that he needed to go. Yeah. Oh you know yeah. Yes, I'm like, exactly. even if you didn't do this, you was a part of so much foul shit. Right. That that something something was gonna catch up to you, bro. You just was lay- laying too many foul bricks. Also, out the there. one of the. Uh, one of the sons was clearly either, I mean, gay Buster. or, yeah, I mean, they killed this gay kid. Buster, yeah. That Buster. was fucking dark as hell. Buster, they and they still ain't even talking about what they did to the gay kid. They kind of glossed over it. I'm uh-huh. like, this family's committed so many murders, they can't even get to the wow. hate crime. No, nah, yeah. I couldn't even, the, the hate crime was the lightest part. They were like, <laughs> yeah, that's how they do us gay. So they're like, yeah, and there was a gay kid murder, but. <laughs> it nah, was in nah, the nah. credits. We're like, what? like, bro, what? <laughs> What, wait, what was the other? Uh, so him, oh, and the woman on the boat, obviously. Yes, the, the girl. That the was girl. the major one. Yeah, that was the start of the nefarity. Yeah. Yes. They are some southern trash right there. Oh yeah. Mm, I was like, this is this is turnt. It was yeah. kind of fun. It's good and, to have these little insights into like this, like like white shit that you like, cause like as a black person, you like they they be doing crazy shit, and then every once in a while you get a little window. Oh you're like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> White collar crime is crazy. I, knew it. I don't know I knew why, it but like the rich ones are easier for me to take. Like making a murderer where they're just fucking with like poor people, it kind of it really depresses. Yeah, that shit one's weird. Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one, I'm like, yeah, yeah the rich piece of shit, they'll go down. I mean, they did kill a lot of people, but nah, the maid was the, the fucked up. That was one. the fucked yeah, up. Because the maid hurt. was just a casualty of, of of addiction and needing bread. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it was just like we need bread. <laughs> I, I I get high too much. Who can we take out? And yeah. it's like Damn. they were they were so powerful that they told the cops that dogs pushed a woman down a flight of stairs, and the cops were like, "That's good enough they for me." They were so yeah. powerful they went to yeah. a crime scene and took out the major piece of evidence. Yeah, they right. Moved the boat. They took yeah. the boat out. <laughs> It was That's like true. what? <laughs> and then, the, and then the boyfriend was like, "Can I see my girlfriend?" They're like, "We're, we're not comfortable with that." Yeah, <laughs> no, baby. And then even people in the interviews were like, "We're kind of nervous talking about this." Yeah. That's yeah, how scary still, they are. Yeah, still, still. How did they time it to come out with the the jury? Bro, that was that, Ill. that was amazing. I, I mean, that's probably how you do it. That's I incredible. I also wonder though, is that 
gonna be something he uses to try to turn over his conviction. Mm. Oh, like uh, cereal? No, in the sense of <laughs> magic spoon. It's like jury <laughs> tampering a little bit, right? If because it's like, can you guarantee that they didn't hear nothing about this documentary? Right. Can you guarantee that they didn't hear anything about this? Like if if I was a defense attorney. I'd be like, hey. I hate yeah. this guy. Can yeah. you guarantee that the jury didn't get any of this salaciousness? Well, that, that is amazing. Point? You're right. I mean, it came out at a time where it could have influenced the jury. That's and this insane. is a bunch of opinions and, and skewed opinions running right in line with this shit. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't think the jury was sequestered. I didn't see that. Yeah, mm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't so. Think I didn't so. hear anything about a sequestering. So then how do you, you know? Yeah, it's really it, it came at the perfect time because I feel like there hadn't been a good murder crime, uh, true crime doc in a while. I, I'd been pretty they, they they made so many and they were just bad. What I love about it, too, is the root of it is just a bunch of trash Southern boys that like to get drunk. Yeah, like it's not it's not even like high level shit. It's just like trash motherfuckers who drink too much, crash a boat, yep. push a bitch down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, but you know what I mean? When you say push a bitch, it's kind of funny. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like the crimes themselves are just like trash. Yeah. They're poor white trash crimes with, with, from people with money. Like yeah. right. this thing is just strung out on an oxy. It's a weird yes. combo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's just strung out on oxy, and then making the, rash decisions. And the other kids in some Ivy League school plagiarizing. Yeah. You're like, you're just, you're just shitty people. Y'all just shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, but there hadn't been a good one in a while. I, I tried to watch the Hulu sex cult one, and it was like, I ah. watched that one, the 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 cum cult, the domestic. Yeah. Anytime I watch it like that, I just get annoyed with white people. It's just like y'all, y'all just be participating. Just stop. The cult thing. It don't is crazy. even be real shit going on. It just be like, and she got in my head, and she told me I had to, and so then I did it. And it's right. like, nigga, just go home. <laughs> I know. Like, I never got that. <laughs> just go. Just say no. Nah. Yeah. Go to your house. You're a little annoyed they fell for it. <laughs> I'm annoyed that they be acting trapped in things that are like, right. yeah. That are just. It's not even crazy. Like even when I watched the Scientology one. And the dude was like, and then he pushed me. And I was like, sock that nigga. I know. I, I'm what with are you. we doing? I don't Why? get well, that. They, like, they kept acting like this guy was like this high level con. And then I'd hear everything he'd say. And I'd be like, that's not that impressive. Yeah, it's a guy named Greg or yeah. something, you know, in a bathrobe. Oh, I thought you were talking about the lady one. Oh, no. I was There's about a the... new one. There's a new one. There's too many sex calls. And already Netflix, of. where it was like a woman. And she, her whole thing was like, uh, power to orgasm and making motherfuckers nut mm. and the power of nothing and stuff. But then when you got into it, she was like on some crazy shit and would watch people get like uh like self masturbation and other people touching <laughs> other people's clits and be like, you gotta fuck this person because mm. you're you're clouded right now. And then the people just go fuck someone they didn't want to fuck because yeah. she said they were clouded and now they're all abused. And it's like, everyone could have went to their house. <laughs> I know, I don't get it Everyone could have left. And when the, she wasn't locking no doors on nobody, nobody was stuck there. <laughs> yeah. They were all in San Francisco, up the street. It just shows that people need a group. Go, yeah. People need somewhere to go. And that, I mean, look at COVID. Everybody went nuts because no one had anywhere to go or do or hang but out. I wonder why when shit like this happens, it doesn't get <clears throat> introspective ever. People never go, what was wrong with me? I then? know. They just go, he's what bad. What was wrong with me then that I was looking for that, that I needed that, that I allowed that into my life and my spirit, that I allowed myself, what was happening with me? Because that's the first question I asked for all my shit. Yep. All my shit, good or bad, I'm like, wh what was what was going on with you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that you let this go this way. People don't do that. They just go like, she crazy and bad. And it's yeah. Like, nah, but also, something was wrong with you that you let a lady tell you had to fuck a stranger and you did it. Exactly. How about internalizing Why, a little? What, 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 what was up with you yeah. at that point in your life? And have you fixed that? Yes. And if you haven't, you're going to meet another person. Exactly. <laughs> and then they're going to lead you to do some other yeah. shit. If I was a so cult leader, I'd watch these. Maybe fix your shit. Maybe I, fix your shit. Yeah. Yeah, you're a cult leader. You're like, round was, two, we can get him. One I was more. a cult leader. I just watch other cult movies and be like, oh, we'll get her, we'll get her, we'll get her. You know? You're going to recruit him. Yeah. Based on. One more that's ride. Evil. Yeah. That's evil, Mark. I'm not saying. I'm just saying, if I was a cult leader, I don't want to be in a cult. It's too much work. Mark, you are not a good dude in your first life. Whatever your former life was. I was a janitor. <laughs> He's like, I live a while. <laughs> that's funny as fuck because it's true so you know cults. where the victims are it yeah is, 
it's so weird to me because I'm like, all that shit is just so and playing on your on your weaknesses. Yes, insecurities. If someone's acknowledging, recognizing, and just pulling those things out and twisting them yep, around. Yep. And it's like you gotta fix that shit. You have to fix that shit. I know. Because it's it would make you vulnerable all the time, and if you never go, then you know. I'm not saying don't get these people, but there's a bigger conversation. Right. Right. There's a bigger conversation. Why motherfuckers be so? Yeah, ready to go to this type of shit. Right. Yeah. It's a, there's agreeable, and then there's maybe you should fix that. Yeah. 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 yeah can't no one tell me I gotta fuck another person <laughs> to yeah. clear myself of whatever the fuck? <laughs> and I'm just like doing it, and I don't want to. Yeah. You right. know what I mean? And, I and they get to wear a robe while this all happens. I don't want. It to. doesn't seem fair. No. And then I go back and report to them after I fuck the person, and I'm like, <laughs> I fuck them. Am I better? And they're like, Yes. But what the fuck game is this? Are there cultures? I know how to be a hoe by myself. If you, <laughs> if you need a hoe, just go out and hoe. Just say you in a hoey phase. All right. Why you yeah. need a group to hoe? <laughs> we don't need a hoe leader. <laughs> like, yeah, why much. do you need a group to hoe? You can hoe on your own. You can hoe on your own. But I think a lot of people are followers. They that's, they need that's a group. The thing. And that's the shit. It's like it's important. Like when I was a kid, that was the biggest thing my mother drove into me was not to be a follower. Yeah. That's it. Like, and when I was following, like, it was like, I got in trouble for that type of shit. For not having my own mind. Mm -hmm. Like, why did you do that? And if I was like, because such and so, that was more punishment. Mm. That was, if I was like, because I, there's a different conversation. <clears throat> but if I was literally like, because my friend, that was like, you in trouble, trouble. Right. Because now you're not thinking for your fucking self. You're you a let other motherfuckers think for you. So now we have a real problem. Yes. Yeah. So I... now we have, we have a real conversation to be had. And I don't think people get that. It's like, that's important. Well, the people the idea be... of your independent brain. Is... Yeah, but people are scared. They want that acceptance so bad. That's what hashtags are. It's like, oh, we're doing this now? All yeah. right, I'm all in on this. Like, well, I've never heard you bring that up once in your life. Well, now I'm all in. Oh, I like, hate what? that shit. I know, it's crazy. I hate that shit. Because it's like, also, you can't care about all these things. I and know. how much do you care for real when you hashtagging 30 things? Right. Thing? Oh, I think about, about like Cecil, Cecil the Lion. <laughs> no one gave a fuck about that lion. Exactly. A day before that happened. Can't care about all this shit, bro. No, it's too much shit That's, to care about. And you can't really care if you just like hashtag lion, hashtag diabetes, hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Stop Asian hate. What, what are you and then you find out that person's like a deadbeat dad on top right, of it. Right. <laughs> and then they feel better. They go, hey, look at me i'm hashtagging all day long i'm a hero you're like yeah you've been on the beanbag chair you ain't been doing shit yeah you didn't do anything well like are asians good now does that just end like i don't get how that works <laughs> like are yeah in, in the sense of our asian good is like is now do they not have their issue exactly because, like the shit they're going through in the world the discrimination they're going through in the world the negativity they're going through are, is it now over because you hashtag exactly I hate that shit I hated the black square shit it's I didn't also do kind none of, of that it's, shit it's also right. kind of fucked up to do it for just like a month cause yes. then it's almost like you're just forgetting about it yeah so I just, hated how about, that shit yeah. and it gives you a false sense of uh, I feel like I got I feel like I got savior. forced into one of them it was like one of them where it was like <sighs> Y'all niggas is making me do this because it's black and if yeah. I don't do this, oh! Uh, and I hated how I felt. I can't yeah. remember which one it was, but I hated how I felt and I like took it down pretty quickly because I was like, "This feels fucking good for you, gross." And you get resentful. You're like, "Fuck, I gotta do this." this now feels you're mad at the group. Gross. Like, what? 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 What is this? Yeah. yeah. What is this? fucking weird ass nobody cares but everyone's pretending to care but everyone's a piece of shit right. thing that we're trying to fucking sell right now i know and who are you selling it to exactly who are these overlords we're trying who to please who are you selling it to because everybody's bad right we're all twisted everybody's fucked up up the chain and down the chain ain't you nobody got, living fully right you got that True. right i'm trying to start a cult Marsh trying to start a cult i got a robe in a basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam, so you're, you're taping it on April 17th? No, June. June, June 17th. Oh, I'm sorry. we got some time. June 17th. We're at time. Brooklyn Steel. Uh, any other road dates you want to plug? Nah, got a man. Or? I'm outside. Catch me outside. <laughs> I love that girl. <laughs> I'm, I'm outside, boy. You know, I'm outside. You, All right. me. you can see her at the cellar a lot. Yeah, I'll yeah. be at the cellar. Mm hmm. Uh yeah, we're all over. I'll I, I be with, I be around a lot of uh, white boys when I'm when I'm doing white boy stuff, and I be around a lot of black people when I'm doing black people stuff. <laughs> I and love that. You can just catch me doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? There you go. San Diego, LA. Sack. That's where you're going. That's where you're uh, going. You're plugging yeah. your own dates on your own show. SF. Am I not allowed to do that? Fucking gay. <laughs> I'm a big homo. <laughs> 
Uh, all over. I'm all, and I'm, more days at samro.com slash shows. I'm coming all over. So. Same. Get a bottle Same. of Bodega Cat. Bodega Get Cat glasses. whiskey. What's Bodega Cat? That's, That's a whiskey, whiskey we sell. You got a whiskey together? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it your whiskey or just you're peddling another man's whiskey? That's no, our whiskey. It's our whiskey. Why have I never heard about this? Or It'll not? be at the cellar soon. We'll be drinking Why it together. Why not ever have this? We'll, we'll get you a bottle. I What's hate it? y'all. <laughs> Well, there you go. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for coming, Sam. Oh, you're welcome. I'm gonna get yelled at for this. What? Why? No, this was this was People all on the up and the up. Time. Why are they gonna yell at you for this? I'm talking to two white men, and I'm not yelling at y'all. Uh, it's already well. A you problem. can get get one in before you go. Yeah. Hey, y'all, stop being bad and stop being white and yeah. stop being men and do what you need to do to uplift the black community in the gay community. Why are you pointing at me? She's yelling at you too. I'm trying yeah, to get it on you. Yeah, oh shit, yeah. oh, all right. So you, and yeah. You're part of the problem too, Mark. <laughs> yeah. both of us. Yeah. Hey, I donated to the Yeah, the and I don't agree woman. with nothing y'all said because y'all white. There you go. Me. So you're wrong. And I just want that on the record. <laughs> you heard it here. Well, Thank thanks you. Thanks for coming, Sam. <laughs> you all right. got some black points. <laughs> Sunday's a day for my name. Doesn't look like I remember her And I get down in the sand